What's up everybody, George from Retro GT, and today I got a new video for you. As the weather's starting to get nice and the days are getting better, we're a week away till daylight savings, so I'm, I'm super excited. I can't wait for the weather to be great again. So with that being said, I still have a lot of Christmas gifts that I got that I haven't yet installed or put on my car. A lot of it's like decals and stuff like that. So I gotta do that. And uh, I figured with these nice days that we have, I'm gonna take advantage and do at least one of them. So you can see the sun's already starting to go down, but I got a quick video for you guys. It'd be something cool I got. It's like this really cool decal. And I think I know where I'm gonna put them. I got two of them. So first one's gonna go right here because I think it's gonna be perfect. And the second one's gonna go on the opposite end. It'll be right, right here. So let me mount up the camera on the stand and show you exactly what I have and we'll get started. All right guys, so this is what I got. I got it in this little sweet little cylinder tube when I got it in the mail. Like I said, it's been sitting at home for a while. So let me show you exactly what it is. I saw this actually on eBay. Uh, I was maybe what, like 10 bucks? I honestly, I only expected to get one, but they gave me two of them. And they're about, I will say maybe eight to nine inches max, uh, tip to tip in some points. But I got two of them, like I said, one of them I wanna put, I think I wanna do it like this. Yeah, something like that. I think that would look cool. And then do the same thing on the opposite side. It'd be a simple, quick, easy install. I'm um, just going to need some, my spray bottle, squeegee, and yeah, I think that'd be it. Spray bottle, squeegee. Let me get everything we need and then we'll start putting it together. All right guys, so the first thing we're going to do is spray and clean the area. So take your spray bottle with some soapy water and just clean your area down. You don't want any dust or dirt, anything underneath your decal. All right, once you got it clean. We'll get the decal, I'm gonna cut it up down the center and uh, we'll get it ready on. I cut the decal right down the center. So now I gotta figure out where I want it. I think I'm digging this. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna spray down the area. I'm spraying down the area and I'm gonna peel it. There we go. All right, I'm gonna gently peel it back. Oh yeah. Oh, you definitely want to be careful when you peel stuff because it can detach and it'll be a pain later. It's kind of what it's trying to do on me right now. There we go. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. All right, cool. We got it. Now, I think I want it. I think I want it like this, so. Okay, so I think I got it where I want it. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is use your squeegee and really rub it down. Get any sort of bubbles out of there. And uh, I don't know if you noticed when I was peeling it, but it is pre-cut around it. So this is gonna peel off anyway, just like that. But we're still gonna get all of that bubbles and air, air bubbles out of there. Let's go ahead and see if we can Take this guy out of here just to get a better look at it. So the thing I notice about this decal specifically is that it's not like others where you have clear coat over it. You throw it on and you peel it off, so it's just the decal. There is a bit of that clear around it that sticks. So just know, know that when you install this, if you guys decide to go with this as well. Get that water out. Yeah, I can still see some bubbles in there, so we'll have to keep going at it. Something else that could help you guys a lot, and I decided not to bring it out today, but it's the heat gun. You've probably seen me use it a couple times. Heat gun's always helpful and useful for decals and tinting. But I figured I wanted to show you guys that you could do it without it as well. All right, guys, I think we're good there. As you can see, I think it looks pretty good. If I step back just a bit more, 
you can't even see that clear coat over it, that clear piece that surrounds it. I think it looks pretty dope, matches the car pretty well. Um, I'm gonna do the other side, and then we'll get to the whole view and see how it looks like before it gets too dark. So we'll move over to the other side. All right, guys, so because these are not a mirrored image of themselves, it's not gonna sit exactly the way it should. If it would, it would sit like this. So unfortunately, it's not gonna work that way. But I do like it a little bit more this way anyway. So I'm definitely gonna go with this way on this side. It's gonna look a little off because they're not consistent. But I mean, to be honest, like I said, I only plan on getting one. The fact that I have two, one on each side, you know? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna spray this down real quick. I'll give it a little bit more. I felt like I didn't give it enough the first time. It wasn't really sliding around like it should. Perfect. Right, so I want it more like, here we go, that's what you want it. You want it to slide around. I definitely didn't give it enough last time just to make sure we get no air bubbles. That way you can move it around a little bit more and it comes off a little easier. I, I prefer to do a dry install, but having a wet install is actually kind of useful sometimes. Let's peel this thing off. Perfect. Now the little pieces that just come up, we'll just rub them back down. I think this one turned out a little bit better. Yeah. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty sweet. All right, I'm gonna take it back and see if we can how it looks all together. All right, when you look at it from here, it definitely looks like it fits with the car. It actually looks really nice. Now, it does look a little small in my opinion, but at the same time, I, I'm i okay with it. I had trouble trying to figure out where to put it. I didn't want to put it on the fender. It would have been too small there. So this was like the perfect little spot. Um, yeah, but when you look at it all together, it looks like it just matches with the car just nicely. Got the black decal with the black trim, <whistles> tinted out everything. <laughs> now, like I said, the other side looks a little different. Actually, I think I have it angled a little higher. But, I mean, still, I like it. I like it a lot, actually. I like it the way it looks. I think it looks neat. It looks good with the car. Definitely makes it stand out, makes it unique now. That's pretty much what I had for you guys. Just wanted to show off one of the things I got for Christmas. And I have a couple other things, nothing huge, uh, a couple smaller things, but I'll probably make some videos on that too. Maybe you guys might find it interesting. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys like it. Maybe you want the same thing. I'll link it in the description below. I'm George from Vic GT. Signing out.